He is the man that brought us the McGeady spin, but he's now chucking his boots in the bin. Welcome back to Fog Football. A pretty legendary career Adam McGeady had in the FIFA world many moons ago, but what was it actually in the real world? Well, of course, he began his career at Celtic, and I think that is the best part of his career. I mean, I actually think his move to Russia, to Spartak Moscow, was pretty good. I thought he was one of the best players in the league in a period where I thought the Russian league was quite good. I mean, that was at the point, man, with that club. I can't even remember the name of him, but they were firing money left, right and centre. You had Roberto Carlos and the likes of uh, Samuel Eto'o. I believe it was Ange Mete. I believe you pronounce it. Do you remember them with the yellow badge? Oh, aye. I remember that. Samuel Eto'o up front. Aye. Mm -hmm. And then the, the club died like two years later because it was just too much money. Ah, uh, Russian football. Russian football. But Aidan McGeady, 185 appearances for Celtic Football Club, um, 31 goals. I, I think when you have a skill move named after yourself... You've done all right, like... Yeah, he's not, like... Not, not, many, not many players have done that. No. Yeah, especially on these shores. I mean, it's it's saved for like a, you know, like a JJ Akoc, a Ronaldinho, that sort of player. But Aidan McGeady, man, five-star skills on FIFA... You know, I guess Gary Mackay Stevens had the five star skills on FIFA as well. Yeah, would it be fair to say though that we'll talk a little bit about his announcement in a minute, but is it not fair to say that his career did kind of go downhill after he left Celtic? I get it, he got that big move to the Russian league. With hindsight, do you think he regrets it? I'm I'm sure his paycheck was saying otherwise, but I mean I I just think that had he stayed at Celtic he might have went on to do a lot no, I mean yeah, he he got the move to Everton but uh, yeah, I think now, especially in 2024, you look at the Russian league and it's literally been blacklisted from everything, so you might just have a lesser few, but back then, 2010, um, the Russian league's good. I mean, it is, but... Obviously, right, Spartak Moscow aren't as big as Celtic, right? I'm not gonna, I'm not going to get into that argument, because Celtic are just bigger, there is no argument, right? But Spartak Moscow's still a big club, but for me, where it went off a cliff raid in McGeady is the 2016 season, because... Yeah. No, you say that, but... I mean, his last four, four seasons at Celtic, he's played 34, 36, 29, and 35 times. Then his four seasons in Russia, only one season he made more than 20 appearances. So it's like... From a footballing standpoint, his career went downhill. Yeah, I mean, obviously at that point when he's made the move to Russia, that, I mean, that makes him, what, 24... Which, when you think of it, 24? I mean, that's very young, actually, to move, isn't it? It is very young. But anyway, Aidan McGeady announced today that he's done, he's retired, and he's calling it a day. He said on his social media page, quote, I'm officially calling it a day. I've been fortunate enough to live my dream as a footballer, competing in the Champions League, European Championships, and the Premier League. I'm deeply grateful to everyone I've had the privilege of playing alongside and meeting throughout this journey. Excited to see what the next chapter brings. I have been lucky enough to play for so many great teams in Scotland, England and Russia. Brilliant memories at the best clubs. I will never forget the magical times representing Ireland for 13 years and getting to the Euros in the process. End of quote. So, yeah, I mean, McGeady grateful. He's had a decent career. He's had a good career, obviously. I think getting to the, the Euros might be the the highlight of it, but of course he had some memorable Champions League nights with Celtic that I'm sure he is uh, remembering too. I mean, maybe he'd done some good stuff in the Champions League with Spartak Moscow, I just don't really recall it, um, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Then, obviously, he was at Everton for a few years, but by that point, just didn't really recapture what we'd seen earlier in his career. And I, I do think it was doing healthy when he left Celtic. Absolutely, and when you look at his actual trophy count as well, uh, I mean, he won the EFL trophy with Sunderland, he won the League One playoffs with Sunderland in 2022, but he won four league titles, two Scottish Cups, and a League Cup at Celtic, and to be honest, that's all he's really going to be remembered for. And it's not really, I mean, Everton, right? A lot of great players have went to Everton over the years. James Rodriguez, Samuel Eto'o. And they've all failed. Yeah, they've all won hee-haw. Carl, Carl Ancelotti managed Everton. I mean, people forget about that. I'd actually forgot about it until you just mentioned it there. Yeah, yeah, Real Madrid came knocking. I also forgot about Eto'o. Eto'o, mate, not Eto'o. <laughs> Eto'o. <laughs> Everton are just shite. They are. I actually just hope they get relegated in their stadium. They're, they're a club that I wouldn't mind dying. 
Yeah. Right, they're, they're, they're not, yeah, just, I mean, their heyday was a million years ago. Maybe Moyes. Well, I mean, I was thinking more of the 80s, like when they actually won stuff, but uh, all right, but uh, if you want to go for the Davy Moyes era, I mean, oh, yeah, right, the, the 80s that you weren't even around for. And? Oh, well, how many fucking times we talked about the new for? Oh, Aberdeen, their heyday was the 80s. You weren't fucking around for it either, mate. I'm not, I don't like talking about the 80s. It's living in the past, it's pathetic. Y- yes, and that's exactly my point, because everyone haven't been relevant for fucking our lifetime. Well, I'm saying they used to be pretty good in my lifetime. In, in, in the, like, when, not the... winning anything, though, mate. You remembered on your trophy count? Nah, nah, that's not right. You don't expect everyone to be winning things. Maybe, oh, a, cup oh. or, maybe a cup there, but... No, oh, no, no, no everyone no, no, a big club. No, what? Everyone are fucking bigger than Spurs. Well, I mean, that's debatable. But no, it, it no hold a, on, you're the same guy, right? Oh, oh look, living in your head, right, uh, head rent free Aberdeen. Oh, they're not, they're not a big. You're, you're greeting because I, I everyone haven't won fuck all in, in the 21st century. But oh, it's all right because they were fighting in the top four. What about Aberdeen? They've won fuck all, but they're in the top four pretty consistently. I'm not saying that. Aberdeen are difficult. <laughs> like compared to Everton, who's a bigger club, Everton or Aberdeen? I'd say Aberdeen, like. <laughs> well. There you go, guys. He's no obsessed with Aberdeen. But anyway, less about Everton, more about Aidan McGee No, that logic's shite. First of all, you're basing them on trophies. Not every team's expected to... I fucking hate that when a manager gets a job. That sounds it's like not... the guy that supports the club that doesn't win anything. No, but it's true, right? Someone argue Rangers. I, I, I hate this logic where, like, when somebody does well at a club that's in the, at the lower end of the table and then they get an opportunity towards a top end and, and you get these fucking... Just imbeciles, right? That don't know nothing about football. That just can't comprehend how, like, some teams are just not fucking aiming to win trophies. Yeah. And they're like, oh, why is he getting the job? He's never won anything. Why are we appointing this field? Oh, oh, look, he he spent no, but people people have said it all the time about managers that have been in like teams that are at the lower end of the Premiership. The Premier League, you're not expected to win trophies. Have you have you managed in those teams? No, I get that, but my point is with Everton, they've they've won league titles. And when Moyes was doing it in the two thousands, it's not like the eighties when they won league titles. I'm glad he brought up Moyes, right? Because that's no exact, Moyes is no, a great manager. No, when, when Moyes he's went, never won anything. No, when Moyes went to United, when Moyes leagues. went to United, oh, why are they signing him? He's never won any. Oh, hold on, here he's managing fucking Everton. Now, could he have won a league cup or an FA Cup? Possibly, but do you expect them to win the Premier League? No, of course you don't. Yo, I'm not. Ta- I'm not taking away for David Moyes, right? What he's done. It, what, he, what he did at Everton, right? But you would have to admit that during that tenure, you would have, you, you, as an Everton fan, you would have liked a cup or two. Of course you would have. Yeah, I think... So same, same with Pochettino at Spurs. Get it? Yo, it was good. Same with Arteta right now. It's been very good for Arsenal finishing second back in the Champions League, but you need trophies to back it up. You well, do. Well, Arteta's in a team that should be... He can win the league with. David Moyes wasn't. Pochettino had a team that he could have won the league with, to be fair, as well. The possible but Champions League final against a Liverpool team that wasn't much better than them. They should have won that. They could have won that. I'm not. I'm not denying that. Yeah, but I'm just saying there's examples here. You know what I mean? Yo, see in 2004 five right when you're going up against Fergie, Arsene Fenger, and Mourinho. I'm not expecting Davy Moyes to win the league. Right? It'd be it'd be ridiculous to suggest. So I'm just saying Everton is a stature of club. They should have built on what they had with Davy Moyes rather than becoming what they are now, which is. Pish. Same thing when Sean Dyke got the Everton job. Not saying it was a correct decision, but people will always point out, well, he hasn't won anything. It's like, he, ma- he, ma- he manages Burnley. What, what do you want him to win? Like, what do you fucking expect the guy to win? No, I know. So it, it just, it makes no sense to me, man. No, I, you know, I, I totally get it. It's like, it's like Brendan Rodgers, right? He didn't win anything with Liverpool. I, I, I thought he still had a pretty decent tenure. You know, and he done enough at Swansea to to deserve getting the Liverpool job. Yeah. People could have said, oh, what's he won it? He hasn't won anything at Swansea. No, no. What do you expect him to win at Swansea? You you love Robbie Nielsen? Yeah. He didn't win anything, but he did all right at Hearts, didn't he? A couple of third place finishes, aren't he? Aye. Won the championship. Finishes. You know, it's like Philip Clement. He's won trophies over in Belgium. He won a League Cup with Rangers, but it's currently no good enough. So you, it, it's all about perspective, right? But back to Ed McGeady, all his honours came with Celtic. And, yeah, it just shows you the grass isn't always greener on the other side. He could have stayed at... You know, he he retired yesterday, right? 
by the day whenever. You see if he stayed with Celtic his entire career throughout the 2010s up to now, look how much more trophies he'd have. Yeah, no, but I'm not going to say that he was a failure just because he didn't win more trophies because no, I I'm not, not expecting him to win trophies at Everton. I'm not expecting him. All right, maybe Spartak Moscow could have won the Russian League, but I mean, it is what it is. Overall, it's too, too, many, too many managers get judged for winning trophies. No, I know. Dave, David Moyes finishing fourth with Everton is more impressive than Pep winning four league titles in a row. Fucking hands down it is. No, I agree. Oh, hands fucking down it is. Winning trophies doesn't mean shit at the end of the day. Yeah, you know. You, 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 you can finish. It's like, Arteta is better than Rodgers. Brendan? Aye. I would say he is, isn't Aye, but trophy count is incomparable. Rogers smokes him. Yeah, but if Arteta was at Celtic, he'd be winning trophies. Yeah. And if it, if Brendan was at Arsenal, he probably wouldn't be winning trophies. Yeah. Mm. It's like Callum McGregor. When he gets that move, big move, you know, to a big club in the top five leagues and he doesn't win anything, doesn't mean he's shite. You know what I mean? Aye. Aye. I That's all right. Closing thoughts on Aidan McGeady. Rate his career out of 10. Uh, Aidan McGrady. McGreedy. McGreedy. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Honestly, though, I think if the guy stayed at Celtic, he could have been a Celtic legend. Yeah. No, I totally agree. Being Irish helped him as well. Yeah, well, obviously Scottish, but played for Ireland through the grandparent role. Yeah, I know, but I, I don't know. I mean, I kind of feel them more as Irish. He picked Ireland, so he's Irish for me. I know, but... I... All right, fair. Who's the other guy? Who's, who's Lewis Morgan? Not Lewis Morgan. Uh, who's the other guy who chose recently? Mikey Johnson. I am. Him as well. Anyway, I, I'll give McGeady a six. Why not? 6.5 average rating for Aidan McGeady. You know it's a slow news day when we're talking about Aidan McGeady, but I, I would say of the 21st century, he is one of the more exciting players to grace the, the SPFL. Agreed? All right. So, aye. Till next time, spin yourself on out of here.